friends. Sorry if you can hear the mower outside. My little cousins are down to mow our yard. Um, it is Monday today and Kyle and I and I think Grandma are going to go see, um, is it Bad Moms? I think that's what it is. Um, at the movies today. So I'll let you know what it, I guess what we think of it. Um, we're also probably going to grab some lunch while we're out too. And then Kyle and I need to go to the library later on and do some uploading and all that fun stuff. So we will see. I'm not even sure where we're going to go for lunch t uh, today. So I guess we'll check back in with you here in a little bit. So we're already in the car. Just waiting for grandma to get out here. She's a little slow sometimes. Um, so we can go to Peoria to the movie and to um, probably lunch. I don't know. Now it's the hard part of trying to think of where we want to go to lunch. And we really wanted Mediterranean food yesterday. Well, falafel. Specifically. Specifically falafel. And we never got it yesterday, but I don't think Grandma would like any no. Mediterranean places. Though Corey's has like burgers stuff. and stuff. Yeah. Chicken mm. stuff. I don't know. Still don't know. She she prefers to be waited on, not like go to the counter and like order too. So that's also kind of like a the only place she allows that to happen is McAllister's. So. seeing bad moms and it was hilarious what do you think Kai I really enjoyed it yeah I think it's actually one of the better movies we've seen this year like one of my co-workers she explained it to me as being more like our now generation like our age um, the mean girls of our generation kind of thing like we had mean girls when we were in high school and now it's been some time and everybody's like having babies and getting married and stuff like that. And so this is like more applicable to our 
lives now. And I think she was totally right. Which, I mean, we don't have kids, but it's still just hilarious to me because I could totally see this, a lot of these scenarios happening to people we know. Yeah. And it was just, I don't know, like even funnier than I expected. Um, if you don't like something like, I guess as vulgar or something, there's a lot of F word and a yeah. lot of sexual innuendos and references and stuff like that. So we thought it was hilarious, but if you don't have that type of sense of humor, then it's not the movie for no. you at all. No. So, and definitely not for younger kids to see. But I'm not even sure what it's rated, but it has to be at least R. R. Okay. It's R. Yeah, so. R. Yeah, yeah. So it's definitely rated R, and it is not suitable for children, but definitely suitable for us. And my grandma thought it was hilarious too, so. Yeah. She's not a real prude though. So if you're all, if you lean towards the prudish side, definitely not the movie for you. I don't even really know if my mom would like it, to be honest. Finally home for the night and getting Yay. ready <laughs> getting ready to kind of turn in for the evening and uh, I don't know just kind of wanted to recap our day a little bit I guess so basically we woke up and went into Peoria um, and we ate at hey. a really delicious restaurant really good probably one of my favorites other than one world i'd say it would probably i i don't know it ranks right up there with one world for me yeah so if you're in the peoria area um look up childers eatery i believe it was called i can leave the, uh the link to their website down below yep. even though it says that their location in junction city isn't open on the website it is in fact open because we ate there today and supposedly they're going to start offering dinner or have offered dinner. I'm not sure. Um, but a sign that said offering dinner soon. It also said we'll be opening the patio soon, but they patio was open. open so, so I think they're just kind of a little behind on that, which you can understand with just opening a brand new location. Yeah. So totally delicious. I actually am craving it already again. I would like yeah. to go there sometime very soon. So, um, yeah. And then Bad Moms was hilarious. It was oh my really god. Good. So so good. Um actually we'll probably end up like buying that one because I know grandma would like to see it again. Yeah. Um and then Kyle got to do a little manual labor helping my dad take uh bring in a new refrigerator into new, my parents' house. New to them. New to them, yes. They bought it off somebody who was moving and uh, all that good stuff and then that was fun. worked a little bit this evening and then <sighs> here we are rounding our night out yep I'm super tired right now yep and now we're just watching some tiny house hunters we watch it every Monday tiny Mondays yeah tiny Mondays we love it and I don't know, kind of thinking about going tiny, or, I mean, I think tiny -ish. they Tiny-ish. I think they consider tiny anything under a thousand square feet anymore, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Which we are definitely interested in. Yeah. Our house that we had in Houston was much, much larger than that, and um, turns out two people and a tiny dog don't require quite that much space, so we are thinking somewhere along the lines of like, I don't know, like 600 square feet? Yeah. 500? Somewhere, somewhere between 5 and 7. Yeah. No five. more than 7. So. That's what we're thinking. Yeah. And we also don't want like a trailer home. We want it to be a um, permanent, permanent structure. structure. Yeah. So. Which makes it tricky. Yes. Because then you have to follow specific building codes and yeah. that sort of thing, which you don't when you build a tiny house, like on a trailer. Sure. Um, but you also can't consider that a permanent residence. So, which we haven't looked at the building codes in our area quite yet. We're actually getting ready to kind of look at all that. 
and see what all it entails and what the requirements are around here. They may be a little bit more uh, relaxed. Yeah. But um, that's just kind of like the general consensus of everything we've heard from like watching these shows and various other vloggers like Hannah and Derek from High Carb Hannah and um, Life Inside a Box and Unconventional Living. They have three channels, sorry. Um, we've watched all, like basically everything they put out. Yeah. We kind of love them. And what's funny is he's wearing a shirt that Derek wears all the time that he already owned before we even started watching them. So it's, yeah. I don't know, quite similar. Meant to be. Yeah. As like a general couple, I think we're quite similar. Yeah. But um, anyways, got on a little tangent there, but definitely interested in potentially building a tiny house in the future. Not necessarily within the next six months or anything, but as a future game plan for us, so. Yep. Yeah. But anyways, I guess this is a good stopping point for the evening, and we will catch you guys. And the next one. Yeah, and the next one. Tomorrow, the next day, next day after that. Not sure when it will be. We're not very good at being consistent. So. You should still watch anyway, though. Because, I mean, we upload, what, like, three or four times a week, at least? Yeah. So, yeah. Keep an eye out. And don't forget to go watch. We released a um, burrito bowl recipe the yeah. other day. So, so delicious. I know that I made it, but it's seriously... A non-biased. Yeah. Best. And with all these seasonal vegetables that have come out, I mean, we are overloaded with several different vegetables right now around here. Um, so, yeah. Might have to make it another time. Yeah. So, check that out. I'll leave that link down in the description below as well. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. See you. Bye. Bye.